one of the things that I love is this idea that, you know, all the decisions that we make can profoundly impact our life, whether they're something very small or something very big, um, even yeah. down to the idea that, you know, you wrote this script a decade ago and then decided to revisit it and it was able to turn into what it is today. So talk to me a little bit about our decision-making. It's a good question. You know, and sometimes we make decisions in our past. I certainly made some with this movie where I thought, oh, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to make this movie. I had a draft of it with another writer that was okay, but I just knew I wasn't ready to direct it. And then, um, uh, literally on a lark. It was after Spotlight, and I think before I made Timmy Failure, and I had reread it, and I thought, there's something here, but I need to just rethink it. And I, I reached out to these two terrific French writers, Thomas Bidigan and Noé Debra, and I said, do you guys have any interest in this? I know you don't know me. <laughs> and they did, and it started this year and a half, two-year conversation that led to the movie you see now, and really rethinking the movie um, at a time when uh, our country had changed, the world had changed. Um, but it was, a, it was a smart decision to reach out to them. And then, of course, maybe the other big, the smart decision was bringing Matt Damon into the mix. Uh, we started talking early on about if we're going to do this movie right, we really need a kind of iconic American actor, someone that people are going to want to lean into and trust. And then we were going to sort of subvert that a little bit, uh, this, her this heroic myth around it, and, and make him very human. And Matt was always our first choice. So uh, we were thrilled he signed on to do it, and uh, we were off and running once he did. And this idea of people that we meet along the way, a stranger, you never know how much they could impact your life or a child just, you know, being kind to you. And we see that yeah. through Bill's pursuit of one thing, yet finds other really important things along the way, too. So talk a little bit about that character. Yeah, I think you're right. That's where the movie got really interesting for me as both a writer and a director is that it starts off with, you know, uh, a father trying to help his daughter who's in prison. But then there's this parallel storyline of this new life he's creating with this woman and her eight-year-old daughter. And it's almost becomes his surrogate family. And since he's got these two lives, he's balancing. And, and there's incredible promise in both of them. But ultimately, he makes some very tough decisions. He's put in a position to make them. And so I, I was really interested in letting this movie kind of go where it wanted to go and explore all the stories around it. So we weren't just adhering to sort of strict thriller rules or drama rules or suspense, but a little bit of everything because I feel like audiences, they need new. They need original, right? And so uh, just like reading a great book or listening to a great podcast, I wanted the story to go to all these different places and hopefully take the audience on the ride. I definitely think that that was the accomplished. And I feel that having that ability to shoot on location, I mean, that's not always a luxury that's afforded, but in yeah. this sense, I felt like it was key. You know what? When we went to make the movie, everything costs more than you think when you go to, to make a movie abroad. And I really credit participant, uh, uh, and David Lindy and then the folks at Focus for supporting me and just saying, we understand. We've seen Marseille. Go make your movie. So we were able to shoot in Marseille and in Oklahoma and the locations we wrote the film for. And uh, it's really representative in the movie. And I think it's a reason to see the movie in theaters. You know, you get to go on that journey. If you can't travel right now, go see Stillwater. It'll take you on a trip. And you get to see these beautiful places and, uh, and, and get a little escape.